Hi, I'm Patrick from Free Cal. Today, let's take a look at the performance of the NPS equity schemes or the E schemes and how they have underperformed the Nifty and the Nifty 100 and why it's time that they became passive funds. Now, I think the day before yesterday, I talked about why one should avoid uh, equity in the NPS portfolio. Many people got very emotional about it. No, you're wrong. It's a very good investment. Ah, there should be return analysis and so on. All right, let's show. I'll show you the returns, and you can decide for yourselves how just how terrible it is. So uh, the NPS started out uh, in uh, late 2009, and for the first five years or so, uh, um, maybe even more than a little bit more than that, they were uh, run more or less like uh, index funds tra tracking the Nifty. Not they were not uh, um, uh, on paper index funds, but they were basically tracking the Nifty 50 universe. In 2015, a report was released and uh, for some strange reason that the, they wanted the NPS to shift to uh, active funds from passive funds, active fund management. And in 2015, September, uh, the order was implemented and since then, uh, the, they have been acting like active funds uh, that can invest in the Nifty 100 universe and they, are, uh, uh, they have the Nifty 100 as the benchmark. High doubt even if they have the Nifty 100 total returns index as the benchmark. They just have the Nifty 100 as the benchmark, which is uh, at, just, just pathetic. Uh, so at least for the last four years, they've been acting as index funds and you can have a look at the last four year performance. Nifty 100 TRI gave 5.56%, Nifty 50 TRI gave 5.39%, the ICICI Tire 1 scheme gave 375 Kotak uh, Pension Fund uh, Tire 1, everything is Tire 1, uh, Tire 1 equity. Uh, so Kotak gave 4.37, UTI gave 3.97 and SBI 4.56. The pathetic thing is UTI Nifty Index Fund which has got an expense ratio 10 times more than these guys returned 4.75% in the last four years. If they had just followed Nifty, they would have got more. In, instead of doing bullshit active management and underperforming like this, which is pathetic. I mean, if you pay peanuts for active management, you will get peanuts as performance. And this is in the last three years, Nifty 100 returned only minus 0.27, Nifty 50.09% total return index. ICICI minus 0.18%, Kotak minus 0.15%, UTI minus 1.75%, uh, SBI minus 1.31%. Maybe I misread one of that. And actually, if you include the time when they were operating as index funds and you look at the last seven year performance, things are a little bit better. There is still underperformance that you can actually pause the screen and see. Things are a little better. In fact, uh, uh, Nifty gave 7.43. UTA was able to actually beat it a little bit by 7.47. If you take into account the, where it was acting, more or less like a Nifty index fund. If you add those uh, three years into it, and if you include uh, if you include the last 10 years also, the the return doesn't look bad. But most of it is coming from the period where they were actually acting like index funds. This is terrible. I mean, I don't understand why the, the pension fund regulatory authority wants to do this. They can at 0.01% expense ratio, they can happily declare these funds as nifty 100 index funds and be done with it. Then, okay, then it's there's, there's clarity on where they can invest. Do you know, I mean, up to 2000, September 2015, these guys were buying mutual funds. They are so the, the, the person has to pay double expense ratio. You can argue um, uh, the some of that outperformance actually came because of those mutual fund units. <laughs> it's, it's just the situation is just horrible. There should be clarity on what is happening when you when I'm putting my money into as risky as equity. I need to know where my money is going. There has to be some kind of uh, uh, you know scheme information document that has to be reasonably clear. I'm not saying all mutual funds give uh, clear scheme information documents, but at least I know that they are active funds or they are passive funds that. Uh, dichotomy is very clear these guys just do whatever they want it's just it's just crazy and i think the pension fund authority has to settle down on one investment strategy uh, passive investing strategy and just uh, get on with it thank you bye bye